Welcome to the 10 minute tutorial for research. I am Vishal Lakotia, a solutions architect at AWS, and I support higher education customers. Today, we are going to be talking about some of the options for researchers to deploy pre-CAD in AWS infrastructure. The agenda includes a quick introduction to FreeCAD, some of the options for running FreeCAD on AWS infrastructure, followed by a quick demo and a running view of FreeCAD on AWS. Introduction to FreeCAD. FreeCAD is an open source parametric 2D, 3D modeler. Parametric modeling allows you to easily modify your design by changing its parameters. FreeCAD features an advanced geometric based uh, engine based on open cascade technology. FreeCAD allows you to import and export models and many other kinds of data from your models, and it has a large and growing multi speciality ecosystem. So, what are some of the options for deploying FreeCAD on AWS infrastructure? First, we have Amazon EC2. Amazon EC2 is a service that provides secure, resizable compute capacity in the cloud. It is designed to make web scale cloud computing easier for researchers, developers. Amazon EC2 offers the broadest and deepest compute platform with choice of over 400 plus options in processor, storage, networking, operating system, and purchase model. We have the most powerful GPU instances for machine learning, training, and graphics workloads. We have a choice of Intel, AMD, and ARM-based processors. We support many flavors of Linux, Windows, and we are the only cloud provider that supports Mac OS. You can quickly launch an EC2 instance, start your workload, and once you're done, you can hibernate the state of the machine and resume where you left off the next time you log in. Amazon EC AppStream 2.0 is another option available to you for deploying FreeCAD on AWS. It, it's a fully managed non-persistent desktop and application virtualization service that allows your users to access securely the data, applications, and resources they need anywhere, anytime from any supported device. Workspaces is also another option it is also fully managed. However, it's a persistent desktop virtualization service. Next, we will move on to a quick demo of installing FreeCAD on Amazon EC2. We will be using an EC2 Windows Server 2019 instance. The operating system and the GPU drivers are already prepackaged in the Amazon machine image that we will be using today. This image has been pre-provisioned for us and is available to us via AWS Marketplace. AWS Marketplace is a curated digital catalog our customers can use to find, buy, deploy, and manage third-party software, data, and services that they can use to build solutions. There are multiple options for of AMI in the AWS marketplace. Customers can quickly, can easily and quickly launch pre-configured software with just a few clicks. Let's deep dive into it. As you can see, I'm within my AWS console. I am within the EC2 dashboard and I click on launch instance. I want to launch an EC2 instance with NVIDIA T4 uh, GPU drivers pre-installed. So here it allows me to search for keywords and I put in NVIDIA Windows and hit enter. And it gives me some options, 29 results in AWS Marketplace. So I select the very first option, the gaming PC Windows Server 2019. It already has the drivers and the browser pre-installed. From the marketplace, it shows me the pricing, which is about 71 cents per hour. But this includes four virtual CPUs, 16 GB RAM, a T4 GPU with 16 GB video RAM. So I accept and I click continue. And it has already pre-selected for me G4D and X large. So I hit next. 
I can tweak the network settings, modify them to if to meet any of my compliance needs, or and if they are okay, I select, I click on next. In the storage, I want to have 100 GB of storage for my C drive, so I change the setting to 100. Next, I click on tags. I'm going to give a name value pair, key value pair of name, and the value being free cat demo. And I, it allows me, the, this step allows me to configure the security group, which is a virtual firewall. To allow the traffic to be uh, to and from the instance, I need to open port ranges. So I, since I want to connect on RDP, I'm adding that port here. I select and uh, my IP and I change others also to include my IP. And finally, I click review and launch. This screen allows me to reconfirm all the configuration that I have chosen and uh, Next, I click launch. Uh, it, this screen allows me to change the key pair, which is used to decrypt the password. If I already have an existing key pair, I can use that or I can create a new one, as your, uh, the case may be. So I create a new key pair. and I click on launch instance. It takes about three to four minutes. And in the interest of time, I already have an uh, instance running. Let's, let me jump to that. So this instance is already up and running. I can change the name for this. And I can connect to this instance over RDP pro protocol. So I simply click on connect. And to decrypt the password, I need to use the same key pair that I have just downloaded. And I can use RDP to connect to this instance with this password. I already have it connected, let me bring that up. So in this instance, once I've connected, as you can see, we already have Firefox and Chrome pre-installed. So using Chrome, I can download FreeCAD, the 544 megabyte executable takes about five to 10 seconds to be downloaded and about another three minutes to be installed. Since I already have it installed here, let me bring that up. And as you can see, it's up and running and uh, I have the full power of this 4V CPU, 16 GB RAM machine to uh, create my models and change the parameters as I choose fit. Thank you for watching today's demo. Oh, and if you have any questions, feel free to send us an email and you can also use the links posted at the bottom of this video. Thank you.